What's going on YouTube? It's your man King Bishop. I'm checking in here from Jacksonville, Florida. So to those of you who have never pulled containers, this is the chassis yard. Um, uh, interstate um, rich chassis from uh, Flex Van. So this is our side of the chassis yard where we rent from. They have it broken down in sections here. You have the 53s, the 45s should be around here. You're gonna have the 40s. The 20s used to sit somewhere over here. I'm not sure where the 20 foot sit now. They moved it around. Those are the stacks that are coming in or going out that haven't been inspected yet. But you see another guy back in his chassis. Behind us, you will see another side of a chassis yard which other companies rent from. We don't rent from them. Um, but this is what we uh, we go through trying to find chassis. I'm gonna let this guy finish back into the hole he's going into. I really hope you guys can hear me. All right, YouTube. So right now I am about to connect to this chassis. So I just learned something today because what you always face is the issue with this. I need a 40 foot chassis. A lot of the 40s and the 45s are not marked to either 40 foot or 45 foot. And if you can see it, <coughs> this is a 45 foot, this is a 40, they look very similar. This one has it marked, but a lot of them don't. But what I found out was, if the number on the chassis is 44 or less, then it's a 40 foot. If the number on the chassis is a 45 or less on the black chassis, then it's a 45 foot. Now, another thing when hooking up to these chassis, you have to be careful because it does not have as large of a skid plate as a regular trailer, drive-in trailer does. So, which means is you have to get up on this pin really, really good in order for it to connect. Or what you'll do is you'll high hook it. And that pin, the kingpin will jump over your fifth wheel and you'll be out here trying to lift the chassis up by hand. All right, so let's get connected. All right, so now we are connected. As you can see, I did not jump it. My fifth wheel handle is in, and if we are to look underneath, we will see that the locking jaw is connected around the kingpin shank. Another little tidbit. Out here, you will see all these chassis. Okay, see the gentleman over there working on them, getting some ready? You'll see all these chassis. How do you know which ones you can take, which ones you can't take? Because all of them aren't available. All right, so what we have here is green little flag. We put this on the pin. That's how you know a trailer is available. You will see some white ones. The white ones mean that it needs inspection. You may see some yellow ones saying that it needs that lights out or whatever. But whenever you see the green, that chassis is available. That don't mean that it's good. It just means that uh, the inspection went through and the, guy, the last driver that boarded in said that it was okay. So that's just a little tidbit on working at the how the chassis yard works. I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing inspected and we're gonna do a walk around. All right, y'all. So here's another little tidbit about chassis. You have the R. The R stands that is that it has the tires to be able to pull a refrigerator load. So if you look at these tires, and as we do the walk around, we're gonna check these lights. It's a light there. Look at those tires. Those tires are wider and it has a different type of tread than those tires. Very simple. You can see them both in the picture. All right, the refrigerated trailers are heavier. So what they do is they put a different size tire on it. It's wider and it's also gonna have a different type of tread. It's made for treading water a little different than the regular uh, 40s or 45s that do not carry refrigerated trailers. Over here, we do not pull refrigerated 53 containers. So we only have 40 refrigerated containers and 45 foot refrigerated containers. And you can look at those two and tell the difference in which one is a reefer. I personally, whenever I can, I like to pull a reefer uh, size chassis because then it gives me the flexibility that if I need it again, I can do whatever I want. Um, but um, if not, then I just have a better, a wider tire as we grip to the road better. There's another light. Now, for you guys who've never pulled containers before, you don't know what these are. Now remember, the container comes in, it's been put on by a crane, and it sits on top of the chassis. The way you lock this thing on is the container sits on here and you just close this. You lift this handle up, you close that handle. Now the container will not be able to lift up off of the chassis. You take a zip tie, 
You zip through the hole around the handle, pull it, and now it's secure, and it won't come open. It won't come open now, too, but it won't come open. That's how you secure containers to a chassis. You want to check all of those. I don't know if you can tell, but we got my four ways on the lights flashing and uh, solid. All three of my marker lights are on. I put my hand underneath the, the tag light. You can't see it, but I can see that there's a light on it, so it's good. And then uh, we got on steady and flashing, so we're good. Actually, you can tell that this uh, has had a um, inspection recently. I don't know if you can see the, the grease. You can see it now. It's been greased, so it's been uh, inspected recently. All right, so we check those lights. We got another marker light here that is working on steady. Yep. And then uh, we walk up here. Got another marker light here that's going steady. And it's the same thing on the front, except for the front, it doesn't turn, it pushes in. And you would take a zip tie and secure it. And this is what it looks like from this. So this pin will go inside the container once it sits on the rail. So this one will go inside. The ones on the back go inside as well, it turns, this one pushes in. Like I said, it's only keeping it from going up and down, up and down. All right, so as you can see, this one is moving in smoothly. Also has grease on it, but recently inspected. That's what I like to see. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get in here and get this empty container. And I hope you guys learned a little bit about how we uh, get these chassis for these containers. As always, man, please comment, like, com and subscribe. I appreciate you guys for watching. As always, be easy. God bless y'all. Peace. Hey, man, I know I closed the video out, but while I have you guys, I saw this on the way out. As you can see, that's what it looked like when a crane is hooked up to a container. Uh, those things are magnetic. They lock into the top of the container. And when he goes to lift it, it'll lift up on that slide and rear the hydraulics will let it lift up on that. And he will pull that up. Uh, if there were a truck underneath him, that's how he would get the truck edit off the truck. But if not, right now, if he goes to move it, he would lift it up enough off the ground where it's in there where you can see. And that's how containers are moved. And that's what one of the, that's an older crane than a smaller crane. The cranes they use in the port are about three times bigger than that. But um, that's an example of what a crane looks like and how a container looks like without a chassis.